Sing it with me. I wanna rock with the dudes. The fear is no excuse. So baby, tell me so what So when you, you left, um, you were in WWE for how long? Nine years. You were there for nine, nine years. So you were there through the end of sort of your era, going into the divas. So you were there yeah. for the whole divas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, Lisa! Please give me give me oh, an idea what it was yeah, like. It, it was. Um, I mean, we're not upset, you know. They gave, no they, name. You they, don't have no. I'm not saying names. No. I'm just saying, give me an idea what that was freaking like back then. Well, we were going like, wow, they're getting more TV time, and we're wrestling, <laughs> and we're like going, we're doing this competition, and it, some of them was kind of silly things that they had to do. Yes. And, and, you know, in our minds, of course, we would we would talk amongst ourselves. We're like, going, man, that cuts into our match. I mean, like. You know that kind of thing like but where is I women's remember, wrestling going what happened what we yeah. were doing and what somebody talked oh. to us and i remember christy hemi winning and i knew i knew she Oof. was she was the diamond they wanted to push her to the moon yes and I went, that's um i've only talked to vince like three times in my life that's it and I, through I, the whole nine years i you know i would say hi but not anything not right from the floor to have a either a storyline or why wasn't i'm not in the video games and give me the, the third one was oh no the four times the third time was give me christy hemi <laughs> i'll good. get to the house shows three hours early we'll go over um with the agents ricky stemo arn anderson fit finley they would get to the ring early because you know she didn't know what she was doing she was like a stacy keebler and yes tori so we would go over moves and stuff like that and um and you know, we, we drove together because, you know, let's eat, breathe and sleep wrestling. Um, right. and, uh, we had a great angle. Um, she was start, starting to pick it up cause she was a dancer and, you know, she was an athlete too, you mm -hmm. know? And so, um, had her, but you know, we got along, um, just like me, I was a godfather ho. Yeah. That's what the we all start. Did. We all start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't hate me because I got the opportunity. You know, it wasn't their fault. They didn't know what the heck is going on. So you don't take out the beating on them. It was WWE that was hiring it and changing yeah. the whole trajectory yeah. of women's wrestling. And it, it's kind of like, it leaves you, it leaves the last era just hanging here questioning like what? And then yeah. you look at the new product and you, and it's hard to figure out like, okay, where do we it. fit? Yeah, but it always changes. So you're always, every um, month you're going, where are we going? Where are we going? So you're always still going, where are we going? Where are we going? Um, uh, please tell me, like, I'll go that direction. It's just, I need guidance. Like, mm. I don't want to be doing something in the ring that you don't want. You know, this is still entertaining. Did you feel like the wrestling had to take a back seat because they were pushed on TV right away and you had to be careful and take just care of yourself and them? The competition, part, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, where, you know, we still had matches and stuff like that. And, um, Christy got had one of the WrestleMania moments, and you know, of course, we're all working towards WrestleMania. That's the Super yeah. Bowl. We all want to be part of that. And um, but you know, uh, we did, we you keep your mouth shut. You know, yes. what I mean? you can't yeah. complain too much. Just if you're if you're miserable, quit. We have another girl to take your spot. Do you know, Boy, what I mean? and they were there nipping at the heels, wanting that spot. Yeah, who yeah. wouldn't? Yeah, because we had one match. That's it that, at the time. Oh, that's all you, you know? girls really got? Yeah, that was it, you know? Um, yeah, unless we had Sunday Night Heat, Velocity, and SmackDown and Raw, you know, then there would be uh, different, if you're lucky enough to be on Sunday Night Heat or Velocity, you know what I mean? You just wanted to work. I didn't care what show I was on. I just wanted to get in the ring, you know what I mean? I'm, right. here. I'm here, use me, use me. And so there was actually there was only one woman's angle going on at a time yeah yes. oh my god yeah so we're all fighting you know what i mean that um it was a great locker room we were all very close and tight and stuff like that you know and um but you know you just you just go with the flow um you pick and choose the moments when you complain and yeah you, you know it you get it you start yeah getting, you know you know you hear it from the fans more pissed off than you are do you know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. more upset. And you're like, ah, you know, I was there nine years. I'm, I'm thankful I was there. 
Do you know what I, I mean? So I lived it, I breathed it, I was behind the scene. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that you'll take to your grave and there's a lot yeah. of things you'll discuss and you won't discuss. I mean, exactly. I get it. Yeah. I get it. And, um, and then at the end of my career, like um, there, um, they weren't using me. And I remember that was another time I went to the, the I remember Chavo seeing me and I went to go knock on Vince's and I was waiting. He goes, and he goes, good luck. He thinks I'm pitching a storyline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm asking, do you see the belt in my future? Um, where do you see me? And they looked at me. It was Stephanie, J Johnny, and Vince in there. And I go, do you see the championship belt? And you know, they're like, and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm an enhancement. Not it wasn't known as yeah. enhancement, but I'm there to make. So you were I, learning I like, where your position was. Yeah. Well, the new girls were going to be the next thing superstar. You, know you were I mean? there to make them look good, I guess. Yes, yes. And I was okay with that, you know. Um, but when I, you walk out to the, the car and the fans kind of sh like, boo, boo, oh, man, what happened? You suck now. And you're like, oh, man, they're not believing my character that I can kick ass, right? <laughs> Against these girls that don't have experience. And I just, I, I just said, hey, when they said no, we don't see the belt. And I go, I just have one favor. I go, you know, I have three more years on my contract. Can I get my release? I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I don't know if I want to have kids. I was married at the time still, yeah, yeah. but I wasn't, I didn't want to be a bitter vet. You know how, when you go to some of the comic cons and they just, Oh my God, how much negativity you can talk about the wrestling business. And you're just like, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm still at this comic con and people still call me Victoria. You can't really shit on it too much. You know what I mean? This is my bread and butter still. Yeah. So yeah. Like, why I am I going to sit here and spew shit at you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thankful that people still want to get my autograph. You know what I mean? And yeah, so yeah. I was, I didn't want to be there and start hating it. I still loved it. And so mm. they said, yes, is there anything we can do for you? And I said, can I have one last match? And my last match was against Michelle McCool. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. And she was like, it was a couple months. I would show up to TVs and I'm like, is, it, is today my last? And then she's like, no. And then she finally came behind me. She goes, sis. And I go, tonight? She goes, yeah. And she goes, you're not going over. I wasn't winning. And I go, no, it's okay. It's, you pass the torch along. You know what I mean? She said, I, I was trying to have them win. You win just so you get the respect. Back. And I was like, it's passing the torch. And I remember I had a big speech at the end. I couldn't remember shit. And I was crying. And I was like, you know what I mean? And then yeah. Michelle did me. She goes, I love you. And I lost it. I was like. Yeah. So that then, was it. That was your last match. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to go to TNA. Um, yeah. Three so you ago. left there and then did you kind of take Not a break? Not knowing what the hell. I just enjoyed being home. Um, we had a restaurant in Louisville, yep. Kentucky called Fat Tony's Pizzeria. Um, and I just chilled for a little bit. Um, joined a gym thinking I wanted to do MMA because I was like, I can't just sit at home on my ass. I had to join a gym to go, I need another sport to kind of focus on because I was you know, we're used to doing wrestling 24 seven. You need another thing to focus on. And, um, three month, no compete clause came. I got a call from, um, Terry Taylor. We would yes. like to have you come in for an angle. Then I'm with TNA. Then I, I joined TNA. They, um, uh, what year was that? Um, right after my 2009, like after Nine, my ten. three month, yeah. no compete clause. And I said, Hey, let me look at the contract. And they were like, well, we want to debut you in three days. And I go, um, hold on. I need to get a lawyer to look at the contract and they <laughs> the lawyer. And their, their contract was like 30 pages. Meanwhile, WWE's was an encyclopedia. It's like a book. Story. I yeah. know it. And so I, when I went there, we would like to sign you. They wanted to sign me for three. And I go, how about we do, I took a big pay cut. Okay. And, and there were, Did I was TNA pay better than, no, absolutely oh, okay. not. No. Well, I don't know. I never no, went to TNA. Not even close. Not even. No, no, not even. No. Close. Okay. So I you signed for one year or two years? Okay. Well, I signed. I, I was watching the product because Gail yep. Kim. Oh, Gail Kim, I had an angle with in WWE as well. And, oh, good. Um, I was watching yeah. her and Awesome Kong do an angle. And all of us girls were watching TNA because their division was really rocking it. And I said, they wanted to join, the, sign me. And I said, I don't want to sign a three-year contract. I go, what if I'm not happy here? I go, let me show you what I can do. Um, and we'll renegotiate my contract in the year because this contract, I was like, man, this is a big pay cut. I'm like, um, 
let me show you that I, I'm a workhorse. You give me any match, you give me a bra and panties. I'm going to make sure that matches a 110% and you're going to be happy with this. Do you it's, feel, let me ask you before you go any further. So the psychology of wrestling, when did it finally click in for you? The psychology oh, of wrestling? Not for a long time. Um, right. I can't even tell you, you don't even realize we had fit Finley. Don't forget. So he would come back and quiz us. Why did you do that there? You know, psychology. He's the one that taught us psychology, but I think still to this day, it's still hard to, it is, it's still, you're never going to get a hundred percent. You're still going to go back and go, Hey, I'm thinking about doing this. What do you, is my, my psychology right here? Or am I over, am I overthinking this? Do you know what I mean? Right. So you still don't know. Everything. It took me years, Lisa, years. I couldn't even years. Tell you. And then even so, like you were saying, it was just like one day, you know, it's just like, oh, you know, I yeah. kind of, you know, clicked even more. And even it was now, like, okay, like, my timing and my, yes, yes. Oh God. And when to, when to um, like calm it down and work the camera. And um, that that's when like you and I, when we watch wrestling now, it's hard to, because our psychology is so ingrained in our head that you're like, why did they do that? But of course you don't say anything. You know what I mean? But, yeah. it's just but it helps with too, when you do have a green person, you really have to be on top of your game. I mean, yeah. it's just knowing your timing and psychology and placing that person where they need to be and hopefully they react and all that other crap. But I just wanted to know, because usually what people say is that when I ask them is, you know, it usually takes a couple of years, sometimes years, some, some don't ever get it. You know what I, I mean? I would, I would, I would say after six years for me for psychology, mm. a, a long time, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating, probably later than that. Boy, I think it was, I think it was a year after Japan, it finally clicked. Wow. <laughs> when I got my ass handed to me. So, yeah. okay. So when you were in TNA, um, so. ODB was my first angle. Oh no, sorry. It was the beautiful people. And you, so you were, a, were you aligned with them? No, you weren't aligned no, with the beautiful was, people. Uh, no. I came in as a baby face. Oh, did you really? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. whoa. Yeah. I, I wasn't, I don't like being baby face. It's just, I, I, I'm not comfortable doing it. But they wanted me to be a baby face. And um, then I turned heel a little bit later. Um, yeah. But I, there were girls on there when I was watching the product. Wow, I never faced ODB. I never faced um, uh, Taylor Wilde. I never faced the beautiful, awesome Kong. Um, all these awesome girls that were there. And I was like, you know, it was a no brainer to go there to try it out. Because I'm like, yeah. oh, it's new. It's fresh. I'm like, oh, you know, but. Um, it was, it was a lot of freedom there. I'll be honest with you. I'm so yes. um, used to like WWE is a little, not strict. I don't want to say that, but there's guidelines like, Hey, you got to keep your time. Six minutes. You better be done. You don't want to go into the main event time. And, well, it's, and I, let's put it this way. I don't know for sure, but I know WWE was very, was very structured. It's structured. To other, That's yeah. the proper word. And when I went to TNA, it was like, Hey, how are we starting this match? He goes, Oh, you know what to do. And I go, exactly. wait, <laughs> We, how long is this angle? I know I need to know what the angle <laughs> oh, is. This is the one match for my debut. Then we can just do, you know, you know that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I, I wanted to know where the storylines go. Okay, we're going to continue this on for a while. Or this is just going to be a squash match. Or, so was it that way in TNA for the whole time, basically? It was kind of all over? Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much. It's how long like were you there? Anymore. It's not like since Scott Demore took over and Tommy Dreamer's there. It's very organized now. When I went back um, just recently, it's very, very organized. Um, I remember when I was there, I was on Twitter and um, I was like, someone tweeted me, oh, I see that you're going to be on pay-per-view. This is Friday. And I go, I called the office and I said, I'm like, I, sorry, texted them. Hey, am I on pay-per-view? Um, it's Friday. I haven't got ready. They're like, oh my God, we haven't reached out to you. And that's that's the organization that I Yes, non-structured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like finding out from social media and stuff like that. But it's completely changed. TNA is completely different and organized. You know exactly oh, what's going on. I mean, yeah, it yeah. is. That's a machine. WWE is a machine. Yeah. I feel you'll never be able to touch it. It's too now. They, they have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because some of the agents there were from WWE. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good. It helps. I mean, yeah. I believe, 
I don't believe in one organization and one monopoly. I think that if we can have other organizations, it's, I mean, what a free ride, man. I, it's so good. And AEW, I think the more yeah. we have, the more jobs that people have. Mm -hmm. have There's so many style. wrestlers nowadays. Yeah, good Lord. Yeah, exactly. Mm. exactly. How long were you in TNA? Uh, four and a half years. So nine, yes, 10, yeah. 11, 12, 13. So you've been wrestling about 13 and a half years or did you go to independence after that? Um, I went to, um, we were allowed to do independence during it because we only worked one weekend a month and they would do all the shows for that whole month that weekend. Very smart to save money. But, um, and um, I got fired from TNA the last six months. Um, I had a, you, you want know, to explain? Um, I, I butted head with the office a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. I That's fair I, enough. Yeah. You know, it just I, didn't I, work out. I was, very, yeah. I was, I was very vocal. I, I, you know, I cursed and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't happy and I think it, the word got out and I wasn't, I'll be honest. I wasn't going to resign. I was just like, uh, you're done. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. And, um, you I, knew you I, had to go and you did. So I, that I, maybe I, that oh, was the best thing for you to do then right yeah. at that time. Yeah. And then I got the call from travel department. Bob, oh. um, saying, hey, we have nothing for you. We have to let you go. This is the travel department. <laughs> travel I department. Yeah, I got fired from them. And um, Oh, I like, my you know, God. Not, yeah. but then, um, you got yeah. fired by a travel department. I got fired by a FedEx machine. Yes. <laughs> if Have you read my book? You will know. I know. I, no, I need to get your book. Okay. God damn yes, it. Yes. Okay, but yes. yeah, so yeah, you got FedEx okay. by that, by the yes. travel. I got, I or you got um, FedEx. You got um, fired by uh, travel. I got fired by FedEx. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah. So after I mean, TNA. I doing like couple independents, not yeah. really a lot. Um, I was so nervous to, to work with new girls that were super green because keep in mind, you know, I started wrestling when I was 29. I, I got the contract. That's and what I, I wanted to say. Lisa, you started... When, when you were 20, 29, I know. I know that's ancient. Yes. To the, in today's standards. But and can I, you imagine they would, no. I, I think it's so, I don't even know if it would happen if they would I hire a either. woman at 29. No. And so I was a little older and grizzled at 20. Wait a minute. They hired Rhonda. She was, I know, but she, you know, she was still active in MMA. She has the name, like she's MMA. Uh, you know, she's yeah, yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah, but, um, it was, uh, I don't know, like how many. I was more mostly doing comic cons, wrestle cons after TNA. Okay. And, um, I, I I do enjoy the signings and stuff like that. Even though they're exhausting, I still yes. enjoy those. And I would pick and choose. I would have to say, who am I wrestling? And then I would Google to see how safe they were. That's yes. like how I picked which independence I was doing. But when was I, your last match? Very last one, independent. Two thousand fourteen. I don't even again. I don't even know against who. Really? Wow. Yeah, I mean, Would you yeah. do it again? What? Wrestle. <laughs> you look like you're going to bite my head off. What? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> um, I wouldn't Would mind you? being a manager or a sidekick or referee, right? but to do an angle like Trish and Lita are doing, I'm too. Oh my God. Them. Yeah. They're, God bless them. But I just, I, I. Yeah, too, but they're babies. They're, they're like 46, right? Yeah. That, but they're still, I mean, they're still kicking ass. They're Mickey James age. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. Yeah. You know, but um, I, they're me, still I, young. I, I don't I can't hardly get out of bed when um, when I did that rumble, when they called me back from the rumble, I couldn't get out of bed for three days. That was, was 2021. Like, yeah. Right. I, I I was so beaten up because they called me two weeks before to come to the they rumble. always do that. And we're sitting here saying how structured WWE is. But yet they they wait. Girl, let me tell you this last this last Hall of Fame. I got a call and they're like, um, we, we need you at the hall of fame one week before because they realized whatever. And I'm like, uh, pff, I can't go. I already got commitment. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I felt like shit because I was like, well, damn. And yeah. then, and then I heard, um, and then I heard Stacy's. Uh, someone told me. Uh, someone told me about Stacy's speech, and like Stacy mentioned you. And I'm like, oh, that was sweet. Yeah. And yeah. so, and I'm like, that's probably why they asked me to be there. And then I'm like, well, that sucks because I didn't get to yeah. be there. Yeah. Yeah. And, same and, thing, man. They call you one or two weeks beforehand. And yeah, you're I like was having a match to Rumble two weeks before, and I'm like going, <gasps> oh my god. Um, there was a point in the ring. Um, I was on the side, and I grabbed the camera guy's <laughs> leg, and I go. 
I'm blown up. I'm so blown <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> you know, I, was just, I was so out of breath and out of shape. Uh, uh, you know, to get ready for the ring, you got to go in the ring. Yeah, two you weeks, no. Sprint drills or anything like that. And um, I mean, I'm happy with what I did when I. Yes. You know, hey, when we were doing rehearsals, hey, Victoria's number 10. And I started crying. And um, they're like, let her get her shit in. She's Aww. coming back. People have been waiting for this. And then I remember telling Mickey on the side I, and um, Tori, I go, what are my moves? I forgot. What's my repertoire? I don't remember what I do in the ring. It's been so long. You know what I mean? But um, I, I came back and I collapsed. And I go, you guys need to give me more than two weeks to get ready for the ring. I go, yes. Dude, no. Uh -uh. I oh, my God. Out. They gave me two months. I could have flown out to somewhere or went to go train with Chavo and yes and then him train me to get ready and do drills and stuff like that but I um, swear to God I didn't have gear I had that gear made in two days I flew out to Florida early went to Jolene um and she made my gear in two days yeah what I didn't have gear anymore so yeah and I was like you know so you had to get a gear made in two days yeah I didn't, was and I that didn't gear cheap. isn't cheap either no. girl oh uh, what, yeah. what, gear, what gear was that? What, what did the you one wear? I always wear at shows. The one I always oh, wear. Oh, okay. The, the last. Oh, the spider, oh. You know, with the bling bling right here. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. I love it too. Oh, it's it. beautiful, Lise. Oh she my God. Great. That is so funny. So, um, you know, just having that done like that, you know, do you ever get the urge when you see, you know, the workers or anything like that, you just get into it and you watch their match and you're like, Gosh, do you ever have, do you think, to, would I, would I want to do one more angle or one more match or are you done? No, for me, I, um, when I watch it, I go, oh man, I wish I was an agent backstage. I could help them. Like I could have done this moment a little bit better. You know what I mean? To milk it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I feel like I have a no lot of knowledge for the new kids that are coming up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really need the spotlight anymore. Um, I've got TV that, you know, we're doing podcasts, we're doing signings, you know, it's, it's still keeping our foot in the business still. Yes. But yeah. I'd rather, I'm more of the mother kind of girl where I would like to teach and nurture the next batch of girls, that kind of thing. I, I, I feel like I have a lot of knowledge to be an agent or a producer or a trainer. You know what I mean? That that's is, good. that's great. I don't want to open my own school. I'd rather work for a big company doing this. Right. Not, not, not my own school. That's just financially scary. Mm -hmm. You know. You think you could work with the WWE's machine? Yeah. 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 I, I. Well, you know what? We're we're conditioned. We are. <laughs> and it's in our blood. We're. we're yeah. WWE to begin with, and we're going to be WWE for life. I think. You know what I yes. mean? Yes. Yeah. Career, and you know, I was in TNA for four and a half years, but most of my close friends are from TNA now because. It, most recent, but I still talk yeah. to a lot of WWE girls from yes. our generation or yeah. older or older. <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? Like the yes. girl girls and stuff like that. But um yeah. Um no, do I do I need an angle? I think people I don't my fear is to go back and not give it oh my God, do you remember how badass she used to be? I don't want to disappoint. I, I left it in the ring. Yeah. I have nothing to prove. I, I did what I did. I'm proud and of sometimes, and sometimes we want to be remembered for the things we did. In, in, and if you go back and it's the shits oh, and you're yeah. like, that's not the legacy we want them to remember. No, no, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I want them to go, oh, she still can go. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yes. I still want my character protected from the back in the day. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, but absolutely. I get that question all the time. Do you? Would you go back? No, no. And I get the question, who would you face now? Oh, that I, too. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want to get in the ring anymore. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Natty Nightheart, but so that's my number one, you know, and Bailey, you know, that, you know, I, but I don't want to go back in the ring. I'm like, yeah. I, I mean, I've, yeah. Cause you know, like you said, you know, times change, things change. And it just hit me the other day. I watched SummerSlam and did you see SummerSlam? No, it was incredible. I, I liked it. I, I liked it. And um, people gave their opinions of it. Um, and uh, the angle between Shayna and uh, Rhonda with the MMA rules, which is was different 
but yet they still had to apply themselves in the as WWE wrestling, wrestling ring oh, with wrestling hard. rules, sort of. Well, but it, they said it was only MMA rules, and but yet I think people weren't used to that style, and they could tell it was still a little bit of wrestling, and they were holding back type of thing. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I'd, I'd like to see more of that. If they're, if they're, if they're in bed with Endeavor, which is an MMA um, company, and since they've merged as two companies. Um, I, I mean, why, I mean, I don't know how hard it would be to change all of a sudden to be a legit MMA rules all of a sudden, but, um, that would have been really cool. Um, For and MMA then it, fighters, I would not want to do that. I'll be honest. You, you, you wouldn't want to do MMA? Uh, hell no. Remember <laughs> I told you I went to that gym? Like when I Yes. Started. I was just going to say you were almost. Well, no, I was, it was terrible. I was, I was terrible, but you're around <laughs> coaches that say, you can do this. Of course, they wanted you to do it. You had a name. Challenge you. Well, I had a name, too. And then we were doing punch, punch, jab, punch, punch, jab. Yep. And I had hit here. My coach goes, punch, punch, jab. And he got me in my nose. And I went, <laughs> and I go, I took the head here. I go, nope. Um, <laughs> nope. And he goes, are you serious? And I go, if I can't take a jab to my nose, and my eyes started watering like this, and I cannot see what the hell I'm doing, I'm <laughs> I'm bait. This is and not I, for me, man. Exactly. I go, I'll still train in your guys' class, you know, for to get in shape now. My right. And for the, for the, just to look good. But I would, God, like, but yes, kudos to those two the, with that MMA. I mean, Rhonda yeah. and Shayna oh. probably could rip our heads off. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Absolutely. The what? Heck yeah. Oh, God. But the, um, yeah. the match. I'll do, an, I'll, I'll do an arm drag from hell on them, but to get to, <laughs> they can punch the shit out of them. <laughs> You know what I mean? Or be their be their punching bags, man. Yeah, yeah. And then and um, arm bar. Sorry, her she can give me an arm Yeah, bar. whatever. <laughs> the um and then the match between Charlotte and Asuka and um oh, god dang it. Why can't I um uh oh be uh Bianca. Be Bianca, be Bianca. Be oh my god. So it was a little wonky, but it, at first, but they were trying to find their footing. But oh my god. It turned out so fucking, and then EO Sky won it. She cashed in on Money on the Bank, and it was so good. So my point was, getting back to what you were saying, is that I watched that, and it, it just, you know, it hit me like, you know, watching these girls today, there is no effing way no, I would, no. there's, I, yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't be that caliber I, I like that. I was. Uh, yeah, huh? their, their agility and their athleticism. Is yes, Ours was a little slower and telling a story and stopping and going, you know, I would tell the camera after this move, zoom in close to my face. I'm going to tell a story, you know, <laughs> not, not like, Hey, don't forget to get me to do this really cool move. I'm not, I, I, I'm just, I can't work that fast. I'm more facial expressions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's, yep. let's have a good grappling at the beginning, a great mm -hmm. cut off, good heat, great comeback. And then a killer finish, you know what I mean? Or a screw mm -hmm. job or something like that. But it's a different style. Um, oh my God. Watching those three, I was just, it, it just, it just clicked. It's like, there is no way. I know. There's just no way. I mean, I'm 60 years old. So, I mean, it's like, would I like to be involved? I am work, yeah. with, NW, work with the NWA do, you know, producing yeah. over there yeah, and yeah. stuff. And, and I mean, it's great. It's a lot of fun, yeah. but, um, I just, yeah. God, the yeah. it amazing talent today. Absolutely. It really has come around. Yeah, absolutely. Very Love it, Lisa. Honestly, honestly. Um, so oh, you God. are right now. You're living in California, and you kind of like full circle, Lisa, isn't it? This you yeah. started where kind of. Well, you said you were born and raised in Chicago. No, no, my my, my ex husband. Your husband was, I but was, you're born and raised in California. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so here you are, full circle. You yeah. landed where you started. Um, yeah. You're living with um, a man yeah, that yeah. you love and a good yeah. and a good life. Yeah. Um, and you're doing your signings. Um, and know, are you going to go back to school? What are you thinking about doing? What do you want to? What do? You, what is your next journey? What's your next oh, transition? Yeah. I'm 52. I don't know what I want to be. You're doing. young. I, I, you I, got I, your whole next fucking journey. You got yeah. the whole next thing. I have no idea. I don't no know. Idea. Life is an adventure. Um, That's right. Yeah. Um, I have a couple things in the works, um, but I'm not allowed to say, I actually signed something I'm not allowed to talk about. So 
Oh, I'm not dead. Um, you know, and let these people know, know Lisa people is go, not I, dead. I'm not dead. And also, too, I don't want people to go, oh, my God. What right. You do now? Don't worry about me. I'm, <laughs> I'm a strong, independent woman, man. I go, I can, I, I have brains and it's like, I'm never, don't ever super go brains. You know, we all can do some, we'll, we'll do something. We'll never be like flat. Do you know sitting. What I mean? We'll never yeah. be sitting, no, no, that's not letting grass like grow that. underneath. Nope. Oh, Lisa, I am excited to, you know, to see and hear your next ventures and what you're Yay. going to do. Um, are, can you give us a little hint? Like maybe are they in the business? Oh, you can't not even tell no. us if it's in the business. No, it's not in the business. No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. 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 But it's still going to keep her. They, no one even will guess. Not at all. No, no. Really? <laughs> no. No, -uh, it's so far fetched. I just was shocked. Really? That's yeah. awesome. So when you yeah. see her with her own cooking show, everybody. Yep. Oh God, I'm allowed. Yeah. If you see my microwaving <laughs> show, follow me. <laughs> microwaving show. You know, that's my pretty. Ex was, my ex husband was the chef. I was not. I brought the people in. That was the. That was <laughs> my the duo. You know? That's so good. I'm having a microwave <laughs> cooking fryer. show. My air fryer. That's what, yeah. Or your air fryer too, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Oh yeah. God, Lisa. Lisa. Thank you for having me on the show, Medusa. We can oh, talk please. Today. I'm shocked it just went just this short because I was like, I we're filming God TV after this and I go, should we push it back? Because you know Medusa and I, we talk a lot, a lot. Why did lot, you tell me you only had so much time? I'm no, sorry. No, 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 don't, no, don't call, no, no. It's not. Oh for, shit, Lisa, no, no. damn it. You should have told me. No, okay. it's not for another hour. I just, no. I, I okay. Mean, I All right. So that. sorry. All right. Marsh, real quick, pop up. What questions you got real quick? Hi, Marsh. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, God, were you sleeping? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. I've heard all these stories before. Well, there was no room to wedge in there at all. But what an amazing story you have. Like, it was awesome. Uh, hey, I have a question for you. Uh, as you can see, I'm rocking my Cubs. Yes. Shirt, I saw, or I, you went over how you went into Chicago, which led into you becoming a Cubs fan. In my life, my brother, every now and again, shoots me a picture to remind me of the time that in 2016, he met Victoria at a Comic-Con and then went and watched a World Series match with you at the bar. And he said that you drank him under the table. And he keeps talking about how it was such a fun time. <laughs> Do you recall that? Was it was it wine? Wait, where was this at? Uh, it would have been L.A. or San Diego. Oh, so it was San Diego area. Yeah. And I watched at a bar. Yeah, yeah. He was wearing <laughs> Cubs gear at the at the convention. You came around the table and you're like, "Go Cubs!" And he told really? you where he was going to watch it, or you told him, and you guys met up and watched one of the World Series games. Is that it Mark Bodick? My no. my brother? Oh, no. no. Yeah. yeah I, no, Man, no, no. It was, uh, they, he said they lost. <laughs> <laughs> the Cubs lost. <laughs> the oh, Cubs guard. lost that year. But it was the World Series year, the, the year they took it. But it was one of their losses yeah. before they went on to win it. But I don't you said remember. you drank one I don't of remember. the table. It's, it's possible I probably drank them under the table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least. Really cool. yeah, but, um, yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was a blast. Medusa, myself, and ODB, uh, Mark Bodick got us tickets to a Chicago game when StarCast was in Chicago. And oh. We oh my god we had a good time that is cool I what was the football didn't we get to hold that baseball. what was there i mean <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> that was another time <laughs> baseball football don't they look the same <laughs> yeah, but mark got, got us tickets i think i can find pictures from that one it was okay i was talking about the right thing they oh, brought us down team. some stairs and there we was a silver team. football or something yeah. from yeah. some other team i don't know what the hell it was what is that thing that sits on a trophy the lombardi trophy it, yeah it wouldn't lombardi that trophy. be there i'm gonna find the picture i don't remember thank you you there. have it hey, the road yeah. warriors were there weren't they yes yes thank you there was a football in there yeah. somewhere it was yeah, a lombardi yeah. then thank you that is like fifth row like, <laughs> oh it was badass yeah i was like oh my god and it was at wrigley field and i was like there's nothing like a game there like when it's funny when I go to San Diego games. That was the first time I've ever been to that stadium. It's a, that's once you go to a game there, everything else is you know San Diego yeah. has, has a good um, 
they have a good field too. But like when I go, I wear my Cubs stuff. You know what I mean? Of so, course, yeah. your Cub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's oh, you know, you know, San Diego is like such a destination location that you're going to get a melting pot of, you know, half blue and half like brown, like like the San Diego. It's like it's split. You know what I mean? So you get a lot of mm-hmm. balls. You know, because people move here because it's nice weather. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. But yeah, I was Lord. like, I didn't see you on TV, and I go. That's because I was wearing Cubs, and um, San Diego's not going to freaking showcase me. On, yeah. on, on, you know what I mean? She'll get yeah. she'll get noticed. Like, um, what's her name? Did um, yeah. Pam? Yeah, Pamela. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 And then all of a sudden, boom! She was this a is, superstar. This is what he sends me from time to time. Oh shit, Lee! I remember him. Yeah, I do remember him. <laughs> Now you can bury him if you'd like. He's now really you can short. Bury Go him. ahead and bury him live. That asshole. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that asshole. He was only four yeah. feet tall. Yeah. He, did he, did he buy me around? If, if he did it, I would have. I'm, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. There's no way. I'm he joking. Was, I'm joking. He was so excited and talked about how great you were and amazing. And it's just, you've been a, a house favorite ever since. Uh, one other thing. I go to San Diego pretty pretty often because my grandparents uh in downtown area there's the uh cuban cigar factory that has a bunch of your stuff up on the wall is that a place yeah, you really like to enjoy that's, that's four blocks away from me yes so, are you kidding yeah yeah so yeah i live i live in the gas lamp so um there you go yeah uh, we don't have a car it was, it was we wanted you know we don't have kids we have two little dogs and we wanted yep. to be where also, get, I'm like five minutes from the airport, like 10 minutes away from the airport. Oh, my God. So there. everything's accessible. Like, I go downstairs. Yeah. I like the, the festivals, the everything's going on down here. I am uh, eight blocks from uh, the Padre Stadium. Yeah, and so like I'm like, we're, it's, you know, I don't have kids, you guys. So, you know, but you do pay <laughs> for living here. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Why do you think I'm doing this with the fan? I don't have air conditioning. I'm in an old, mm. old ass building and no air conditioning, no heater, no parking. So we got rid of our car and we take the trolley, the bus, or um, like everything's so convenient here. You don't really need a car. You're, You're in, in the area. San Diego area though, right? I'm right. See, that's there. one of my favorite places out there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. It's everything. It's so much going on here. Like it's mm. every weekend and every day there's always like you know the farmer's market like there's some mm-hmm. there's something going on all the time but the cigar that that cigar place um i gave them my slam buddy and my um <laughs> Did you really? because they would we would come in so often that they would buy us rounds and um mm-hmm. my, my boyfriend smoked cigars and um give him cigar once in a while i'm like oh man they don't give you cheap whiskey there i go i go we need to give them something back i go i was drinking wine at the time you know what i mean so i'm like his stuff was like like, we need to give them something as a thank you. So, yeah, they're right down the That's street awesome. from us. That's yeah. awesome. You have a I'm a slam big cigar guy. A picture. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a big cigar yeah. guy. So when I first walked in there, I sent a picture to my brother, and I was like, yo, is that your buddy? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly. so, buddy. So do you not smoke cigars? I occasional, but I can't do a whole stogie. I, um, it's a bit much. They can be heavy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty strong. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, well, you and Terry yeah. Reynolds will have something in common. I'm not, yeah, Terry, yeah. No, I'm not that much of a connoisseur. ODP oh. is a connoisseur, too. Yeah. Of a I'm, cigar? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm like one, like, let me just, don't buy me one. Get, let me just cup a couple puffs off yours, and I'll just go, oh, God. Ugh. You got to brush your, like, yeah, it's just, it's. It's strong. Depends on the it's one. You know, my fiance is the same way. She can only have the really small ones. They should be a little yeah, bit sweeter, like the easier. Small, yeah, yeah. The cherry and the blueberry, like those ones, like the black and mild. Yeah. Like, black and mild, know, even, yeah. Well, uh, you know, you know, I'm from San Bernardino. The black and mild is like, I can smell that a mile away because it smells so good, but it still doesn't taste the same, I'll be honest. It's probably with. marijuana. There's a, a line that does like a chocolate leader. mint. It's everywhere. Is it really? It's like, you can it's smell bad. ganja everywhere. Like, see, everywhere. I couldn't handle I mean, that. I, mean, oh. I don't smoke pot. Yeah, me I'm not either. A pot smoker. I'm not. Um, I, I don't want to be hungry. I'm like, I just. You know, <laughs> if like, I smoke I pot, Lisa, if I smoke pot, my kitchen would be empty every freaking day. Me too. Day. Oh me my too. god. Me too. And I'm, they're like, oh, you're doing the wrong strand. You should do gummies. I tried that just to go to sleep, like the ones that help you go to sleep. I still was at the refrigerator going. 
I, I couldn't even get, it. I couldn't even do gummies. Like I tried, I got paranoid as hell. So did I. I was so paranoid, like getting I, high. I, I tried like getting it. high. I was scared to death. Like what the yeah. fuck are they coming to get me? You and I are they're the same. We don't even like taking prescription drugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> even though if it's prescribed to us, we're like, um, is there anything natural we can take? You know what I mean? <laughs> but See, we were talking I'll about menopause. I'll take yes. a poison for my liver, but you know, but like prescription and like, Girl, all you yeah. got to do is drink dandelion and milk milk thistle or take that and you can still drink your wine. You'll be good. Medusa has so many witches brew recipes for any I kind of you, ailment. Every time I talk to her, because we're both going through menopause, the first time I talked to her about stuff, I ordered from Amazon um, and some other website she gave me links to. I was like $300 on vitamins for... I, well, I'm, you don't have yeah. to do it at once. You gradually... But I wanted to do it right. <laughs> I wanted to do it. I was like, okay, she takes this at this time. Okay, but what if I, I say, oh, it's not working, and then I don't give that other one a try? I wanted to do exactly what you were doing. Okay, you know, again, you, most of this, all of this, you know, will work for everyone, but then there's some people, it just doesn't work, but you got to find what works for I you. Know, and it I gets know. expensive sometimes, but hey, the stuff that didn't work, just I'll buy it from you to send it... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said you have to give it. A, I have to give it a month. So you can't just give it like at least like, 30, 60 days, even yeah. ninety sometimes. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to talk to you more about menopause that sometime later on the other end. Whole um, other show. A whole <laughs> other show. <laughs> menopause. Okay. All right. Um, Lisa's okay. got a TV show to do, so I I hate to keep, really cool keep one. her here. Yeah. yeah. So she, God Lisa. Yeah. I was just on God TV. Thank you for having me. It was a great interview. Yes. Um, didn't get to talk. We didn't get to do much because all we do, we talk about like, there's like four of us, right? And we have so much to share individually. So I just said, I'll come on yours and we'll talk as much as we can. But I have so much, I have so much with Lisa and, and we can Vale. Do part two. We can do a part two. We'll do a part two. Yeah. Yes. We'll do part from deuce. That. We'll do three months. From that. We'll okay. do a part deuce. Ha ha ha. When, when you're able, when are you able to talk about the new thing that you're doing? How far in advance, uh, later? Probably in three months. In about three oh. months. So yeah, Perfect. part deuce later. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Lisa, thank you. Okay. I love thank you guys. You. Oh, I thank love you. you. So much. All thank of you your information, much. all of your information Hello. will be, will be below. So people know how to get a hold of you, uh, your, yeah. your social yeah, media you know. stuff. Okay. And don't forget to tag me, invite me as a collab when you guys post this. No, okay. For sure. Okay, so I can just re review, accept, and it post. You got that, Marsh? Uh, you yeah. Guys, no. Okay, I was that. like, you looking at me like, what is this? Yeah, no, no, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, okay. We don't hide it. We're not hiding it from you. We okay. will share it with you. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to hide it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we can, let's do it three months from now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I wish I you the you best. Both. Thank All you. Right. Love you, girl. You See ya. Okay. I love you. Bye. Thank Call me you. Queen of Carnage. I will beat your ass. This is my time. Busting doors, breaking glass ceilings. And I like to play. They used to call me a Lunder Blade, but not anymore. I am Medusa and always will be Medusa. And that's what I think of the Women's Championship belt. Oh, hail the mother trucking queen.